Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to a video about the Cyber Weekend deals. You might be like, Ridge, you're like 24 hours plus too late. Um, yes, well, I've been traveling. I literally have just stepped in the door after traveling a good chunk of the night uh, because I was at a works uh, party uh, in the middle of nowhere in a fancy manor house. It was lovely. It was delightful. But uh, I want to talk about some Cyber Weekend deals uh, or deals in general. Of course, I'm just going to make some kind of like quick reactions. We've got some like more f thorough deep dives into different types of progressions tomorrow uh, when I wake up because it's like it's half past 11 p.m. and I, I want to go to, to bed in a minute. So um, I want to just talk about some stuff when it comes to these deals and some notes because one of the big things will be about should you do uh content versus uh you know the get uh, purchasing some of the deals and i think that's the thing and from what i've read you know read seen the notes that i've taken over the last you know 24 hours have been very much that case should you take your unit and go into content versus taking the units and getting a deal and it's actually pointing more towards the content side of things which is very surprising there's definitely some like elements to the deals which I think a lot of you are going to like. I do like them, but then the more you look into them, the more you're like, well, you end up getting like like better extras by doing Necropolis, getting the milestones from the death totals like rewards take home, and then kind of like doing yeah, doing that versus uh getting some of the deals. There's a lot to unpack with the deals, I must admit. I would say that I'm not particularly happy with Kabam being a little bit hypocritical on the subject of uh, allowing people. I think they gave the impression on the live stream like, oh, we're not going to give like spenders the opportunity. I'm pretty certain this was said. I'm not going to give spenders the opportunity to have access to a uh, rank 3 7 star. But theoretically, they do. Uh, and how do they do that? Well, if you buy the, uh, the I was on I was on the deal. If you buy four times the tier four alpha catalyst, right? That gives you one close to a second tier four alpha formed. Of course, then spenders are going to be like, well, we've got all these units. What do we do? What do we spend them on? Well, you can go and get another rank three seven star. Uh, it's quite simply by uh, get pushing through to the bundle. Oh, before then, there is some extras. Uh, you know, pushing through to the end there, you do have to spend, uh, what is that, 15,000? So it's 18,000 units. Plus, um, on that uh, route to get there, there is, there it is, the Greatest Summoner Bundle 2. Yeah, 2 where there's a chunk of 28,500. Uh, so that all adds up. Again, let's just, let's just, so just kind of, I'm not do, going mad. It is quite late. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. So first of all, uh, we've got 28,500 on, uh, on that. And then we've got, if I just get to the deals, 22800 so it's plus 22800 uh, of course like if whales are going to be able to do this nobody in their right mind is going to be able to do this 22800 plus 22800 uh 96900 did i time that right i'm doing this a different way 22800 uh times by 4 equals 90 yeah plus 28 500 which that was the deal there we go and that's divided by two yeah so you, you get you, you, yeah so that's the three that you need uh assuming that is three to uh to kind of get that uh it is three yeah okay so th there's some hypocritical uh, elements to what kabam said there they they have given wales the opportunity to get to um you know a, a rank three seven star Obviously, for my particular situation and many others that are kind of looking to go, okay, I need to make gains. What do you do? Where do you go? Is it worth doing some of these deals? Again, it does throw back to certain things like, like what do you need? Some of the deals are very uh, higgledy piggledy is the uh, is the word with this, and some weird stuff are kind of like associated with it. So one takeaway I had from this, especially from myself as a Paragon perspective, and that's what we're kind of like treating this as, is kind of me reacting to this stuff, is that. Uh, 
there's been more of a push for primordial dust, which I, I, I find a little bit weird, but okay, it's in there. Uh, its value of what how Kabam tip it as a value-wise seems to be quite expensive. Um, that's one thing. If you need some of these deals to then make champions stronger to then go and do certain content, then there may be some kind of gains to it or kind of like, you know, a uh, positive process. One thing that I did have in my predictions, which seems to be a thing, is that Kabam are giving out more tier 6 class catalyst, which is good. I'm sure a lot of people were kind of screaming out for that, uh, having that a bit more. Uh, the Titan Crystal stuff is always, uh, I find, a mystery. I find it like a, a big mystery as to like why why this is something of, of like... Why Kabam? I, I thought the Titan Crystals were more of a kind of if you dupe your seven star rather than kind of giving them out as kind of um, you know candy as they're doing right now. Like it, it was very exclusive to a you've got a dupe in order to get. But you know um, some good champions do enter into them, and I will be. I've been saving mine back because um, well, yeah, I've been I've been kind of like going like that. It's got to be used for something when a new pool comes because it just seems more of more value. Some weird additions as well. Um, I did notice that there's a loyalty crystal in here for some reason. People know you can get it for free, right? You could get the 100 tier 2 primordial dust for free. Um, and, you know, the ISO and the gold. This this bundle here is a total ripoff, in my opinion. In that, Kabam give out tier 2 primordial dust, 100 of it, like, you know, for, for free on a monthly basis or, you know, once every bi-monthly basis and the loyalty crystal if you save up enough loyalty you, you you know you get it i mean i've got one at the moment i've got one kind of like loaded up some somewhere kind of ready to go for a big christmas opening which i'm looking forward to doing probably on christmas day i want to say uh but it's just still a month away hey um yeah so there's there's that one bit of good news especially when it comes to the paragon is there's no tier 5 basic in tier 2 alpha thankfully uh so the values have kind of like represented that I also don't know where Kabam are pitching, especially for Paragon, because this is a very important time for Paragon, because Paragon are, you've got people who are low Paragon, high Paragon, that are going to do Necropolis, and therefore we're at this kind of split to Valiant, um, which that in itself is is a bit weird. I don't know, and I think that people who were Valiant might have been that rushed towards the getting it to then get some special deals, kind of, well, were a bit misled possibly from what i gather this is the only valiant based um deal because it's got like a valiant thing by it i could be wrong and it could be a whole new store for people that are valiant but at this stage i think what command might have done is sandwiching the paragon and a valiant together but given something a little bit added extra to go hey you're valiant aren't you you might want something like this although again like valiant people are, are gonna be the one top ends of paragon looking for gains when it comes to uh, tier 3 uh, 7 stars and uh, and so rank 3 7 stars and so they're going to be looking at stuff like this and going like well we've just done necropolis and wouldn't it have been like more apt to them be a little bit more offered something like i don't know tier 4 alpha ish or well i rank 1 to 2 7 star rank up gem like, something that's more kind of in the meta for them. Primordial Dust, I sort of get, but I sort of don't get. As it just seems to be something that Kabam now... It's like, basically, Primordial Dust is turning into uh, 2023's Relics. And Relics are now becoming more... Uh, you know, Obviously, people, a lot more people are using Relics. But then it's weird to go like, okay, from a non-spending yeah, non perspective, there's no Relic items within there. All relic particular items that you can acquire are being slotted into the spending deal. So, so again, there's some, there's some kind of like really bizarre, um, you know, elements to this. Because it's not like before with the other deals, you're being forced to grab deals. I just, I still prefer Cyber Weekend deals because you get choice of what you want to grab. But then should there be a choice of the underground market or the um, you know Cyber Weekend store? To go, hang on a minute, I, I I want to choose something that's very relic orientated, like a bundle for about 5k units, 2k units, whatever units. And to be honest, they should be incredibly downgraded and devalued. So there should be something like, you know, 2000 units, a special relic based bundle. You know, for me, I've got most of them, but I wouldn't mind like a, a you know, something that's relic orientated. 
the same way that we've got something in the deal section and indeed is relic orientated you know for three thousand one hundred uh out for for two hundred dollars i don't know if it's two hundred dollars I, I, I don't i don't know i don't spend anymore so you know whatever so there's a lot of kind of like there's so many things to unpack with this it was also good to note that there is an uh an era's uh crystal uh which is actually not that bad in acquisition point is it this one yeah there it is past era selector uh, i would say i would go for this but at the same time like i'd literally be spending what oh sorry oh, oh nearly choked then <clears throat> Seven thousand five hundred units for that particular luxury and to be brutally brutally honest i would prefer to just get nick fury or any other champion by different means i mean look this is great you know i shouldn't really knock that it gives an a, a, an option for it but 7500 units just doesn't feel like it's it for me uh you know if this was something like 5000 units flat maybe maybe a little bit less it might feel like it's, it's worth it because again players are at this point with going look am i grabbing these deals or am i getting content and that's the thing i don't if necropolis was not around i probably would be like well let's just grab all these deals fantastic and i'd probably be very happy but because necropolis is a thing it kind of puts the perspective of going look should i take my twenty thousand units i've got right at the moment and invest in content kind of feels like that is uh that is the uh the, the case with it so I'm in a bit of a two may like two minds were kind of like looking at these deals I think last year um last year I was very complimentary on the setup of the deals right but there was no necropolis there was no no new abyss uh type content uh to me they don't look great like they're not overly fabulous and I think as I've seen many people say uh this is all about content versus cyber weekend deals and that's where people are kind of like looking to kind of like prioritize um their their kind of like their spending and as well I think people are thinking about banquet event as well and going right well some of the stuff that's in the greater banquet crystal might be interesting for me to actually save back and to be honest those rank rewards of course are going to encourage spenders hoarders of huge amounts of units so you may be kind of more inclined for that i'm sure people will will have had and would have found a deal or deals are that they like on the cyber weekend ones it may have been about acquiring a certain champion it may have been about trying to improve their roster whether it's six star seven star whatever whether or not it's grabbing titan crystals primordial dust ascending more champions i'm sure there's players out there that would find you know something of value but for me personally and looking at these deals i didn't find anything that jumped out at me that much or uh, i didn't find anything that was fairly priced that unit wise i would feel about i feel really really happy about investing in you know, if there was an ability to get a rank three seven star right now by spending eighteen thousand units, I'd be up for it. But it's only one and a one and two thirds, I want to say, of a rank three seven star, and I'm just not all about that. I'd rather go and invest those units that I've got. Hopefully, not all of them. I, I, I hopefully things go well with, with runs in uh, Necropolis, which it should do. Um, if I've got Aegon, um, then everything should be fine. But different strokes for different folks, different interests. If you're interested in this and this worked for you, it worked. If it didn't, then not quite sure. But in any case, if we're looking for any kind of great value, it is obviously down to you what you like about it. The deal wise, deals wise, and uh, what was in there, there's some good stuff um but you have to uh avoid certain things like i said avoiding the loyalty one the loyalty one just seems weird the primordial dust as i said you can get it elsewhere the titan crystal shards again down to you if you want any of the newer champions but i do think that you could be wasting your units there if you're looking for a new champion to be fully ranked up or get to like a real kind of spicy element then and choose a champion specifically then of course that you could buy this this bundle here and i do you know recommend it but um you know try not to fall for certain things and there was some nice stuff as well i think with uh with this deal 
which is this one here. So the bundle one. Um, but do bear in mind, you do have to spend 18,000 units. I think Kabam are trying to encourage players to spend more units than maybe they like to uh, for stuff, which, you know, with this one, what? Select a hero crystal. and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel there's a lot of traps. I think Kabam are trying to trap you a lot with this. I don't know. Thoughts in the comment section about like how you found these deals. Take them or leave them. Maybe prioritize content and banquet event. And if there's a champion you want to specifically acquire, then this could have been helpful. But do bear in mind, you have to spend uh, a good amount of units in the meantime. In any case, thanks for watching. Check out some other content located on screen. And I'll see you all soon. Much love and goodbye for now.